If you're throwing a party and you want everybody to come, equity is ensuring that there are different price points. Diversity is inviting everybody. Inclusion is actually asking people to dance once they're at the party. I'm April Rain, and this is A Word, Why Diversity is Not Enough. One fateful morning on January 2015, I was watching the Oscar nominations on TV, category after category, Best Actor, Best Actress, Best Supporting Actor, Best Supporting Actress. There were no people of color nominated in 2015, and this was the year that gave us Selma. I took to Twitter and I said one thing, Oscar's so white they asked to touch my hair. Initially, it was just as snarky and as sarcastic as I meant it to be, and so that's what we were seeing with all of the responses. You know, Oscar's so white, they wear Birkenstocks in the wintertime. Oscar's so white, they have a perfect credit score, right? It wasn't until a couple of days later when I realized that people were still having this conversation and that we needed to talk about the distinctions between diversity and inclusion and equity and representation. And in fact, that this was bigger than just the Academy, just the Oscars, just the movie industry. So I created Oscar So White in January of 2015. In 2016, the nominations came out, and again, there were no people of color in any of the acting categories. One time is a fluke, two times is a pattern. And I think it was in 2016 when Oscar So White truly took off because people realized, oh, okay, there is actually something here. And it was in 2016 um, that the Academy of Motion Pictures, Arts and Sciences, they made substantive changes. In 2016, the Academy committed to doubling the number of people of color and doubling the number of women within its ranks by 2020. Opening up its ranks to people like Julie Dash, who is a phenomenal filmmaker, like Melvin Van Peebles, who was the godfather of black exploitation films, neither of whom had been in the Academy before, makes a difference because that means they're going to be viewing films through their lens, through the lens of a marginalized person. There is really not an industry in the United States that is not affected by the lack of inclusion of marginalized communities. So while I didn't have a goal initially, it became really clear to me that we needed to continue these conversations in every single field, not just in entertainment. And so I'm attempting to take that on and, and continue discussing issues of diversity and inclusion and equity and representation. Both the terms diversity and inclusion are overused. It's sort of a catch-all and people really don't think about what the distinctions are. So when we see that particular corporations or organizations have diversity initiatives, what does that mean truly? They're going to put more people of color in their ads or in their magazines or, you know, shilling their product. And yet when you look at their boardrooms, when you look at the C-suite, when you look at the higher level employees within the organization, they look incredibly homogenous. When someone says, oh yeah, we're very diverse, you know, we, we've been very intentional about what we're doing, ask the question, you know, what is the percentage of people of color? What is the percentage of disabled folks? Do you have not just, um, not just a sexual harassment policy, but also an anti-racism policy in place? And when you do, then you drill down even further to ensure that the people who are there, the marginalized folks, the traditionally underrepresented folks, truly feel like their voices are being heard. The communities that are left out of the conversation about diversity and inclusion are the same ones that I talk about with respect to Oscars So White. So we're talking race and ethnicity, we're talking sexual orientation and gender identity, we're talking age because there's an age bias when you think someone is too young to know something or when you think someone is too old to be able to keep up with what you're doing folks with disabilities. Um, we're talking about Native American status for folks. So those folks who are in power don't want to cede even a minuscule piece of it to anyone. And I think that's what the problem is. But what we have seen, indeed what the data shows at this point, that the more inclusive your organization, your movie, your corporation, your ad, your product is, the more money it makes. 
Diversity is never enough. We always have to go further and look for parity and look for equity. We as regular everyday people have the power to make substantive change uh, with large organizations within our personal communities. Uh, we just have to be bold enough to take that step and leap uh, in faith.